I'm Teresa Cackert, and this is a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association. Today we're at West Texas A&M University, and we're here to show you how to safely catch your horse in a pasture with other horses and still be able to get it done safely and enjoy the day with your horse without getting into trouble. So as I get ready to step into the pasture to catch my horse, I want to make sure that I've scanned the environment to make sure that all of the horses are comfortable. They're not startled or frightened by anything and running around. I want to not come into the pasture until it's safe for me to do so. If they're playing or running and I feel like it might be hazardous, I would just wait outside the gate until they're ready for me to come in. These guys are all looking great. I'm going to go out and catch the Palomino, the registered American Quarter Horse. This shiner's tough, so we can go out and enjoy ourselves today. So as I prepare to do so, I'm going to once again look in the environment, make sure all the horses are settled and comfortable. This is also a great opportunity for you to check your pasture for hazards, anything that the horses might have damaged during the night or since you were out here last. So whenever you're in your pasture or paddock, you want to make sure you check it for any potential dangers. So I see that he's out here all by himself. I'm just going to give these other horses a wide berth. I always like to make sure when I walk through other horses that I'm speaking to them at the same time so that they know that I'm here. It's a nice sunny day today and they could be very warm and nappy and I want to make sure I don't startle anybody. So as I walk up to him in the feeder I'm going to make sure the other horses that have their heads in the feeder know that I'm here as well. Hi guys. I'm going to approach him at the shoulder. Now you see we've had a little bit of mud out here. It's important when you're out here walking around, you want to make sure that you always make sure that your footing is going to be good and you're not walking through a very slippery patch. So if you need to move quickly out of the way, if another horse comes in and decides to move your horse over, you have the ability to move out of the way safely without falling down and potentially being stepped on. So sometimes if the horses are close to one another, the easiest thing to do is to just drop the lead rope over the horse's neck and move them over to an area where you feel they may be safe. Step up, Bubba. Good. Now here I can put my halter on my horse. It's always nice to have it shook out and ready to go before you start. I still have the lead rope around his neck. I can slip his nose through. Make sure you don't put your hands or fingers through any parts of the halter where they could be trapped or stuck. Tie my knot. Making sure again that none of my fingers ever go into the knot I'm tying. Your halter is securely fashioned. The other thing that's very important to do is always to make sure when you prepare to lead your horse that your rope is folded and not coiled or wrapped. So as I fold my rope, I can safely lead my horse. I'm going to lead him up here away from the other horses first and then up towards the pasture gate. Now as I am walking away, I always want to keep an eye on the other horses in my peripheral vision to make sure that nobody's getting too close, nobody's coming up to see where he's going, or maybe sometimes other horses that are more dominant will come and chase a more submissive horse out of the way. Now you can see the gate here is a little bit of a corner, so I want to make sure that as I approach my corner where I could potentially be trapped, that I once again scan the environment and make sure all the horses are safely back and well away from the gate. I'm going to bring my horse up to the corner. As I approach the gate, I want to stop him a little ways out. Oh, if your horse were to crowd you, you could even step your horse back a few steps so that when you come up to work the gate, you have plenty of space. So I can let the line out on my lead rope a little bit, open the catch on my gate. Again, I'm keeping an eye on the other horses. Now, it's very important when you're putting your hands through any kind of metal that you make sure you do it as briefly as possible as you open the gate and you keep your eyes focused on your entire environment so that you would not get your arms stuck in the gate. So when you get ready to open the gate, you always want to make sure you swing the gate away from your horse. So as you come through, you can easily open it and there's no risk of your horse becoming trapped in it. I'm going to open the gate nice and wide as I bring my horse around and then close the gate. Again, there's a little bit of a corner here, so I want to stop my horse away from the corner. If I need to, back him up a step as I prepare to close the gate. Sometimes you might even have to put a foot on the gate to help hold it still for you. I'm going to wrap the gate through, the chain through. Careful not to catch my fingers and put them in any part in the gate where they could be stuck. As I prepare to go out for my trail ride today, I'm going to bring my horse around and we are ready to go. This has been a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association.